My teachers were complaining that I was always talking out too much. I went to a psychologist and I took some testing to see what was the problem. They determined from that that I had ADD. The doctor prescribed a common pill for ADD. I used that as I was maturing to help myself a little bit. But now that I've matured a lot more, I no longer take it because I want to deal with it myself. The symptoms I deal with are like I'm not able to pay attention as well. My mind wanders. I do get frustrated with myself a lot because I know that I need to get this work done. If I don't get good grades, then I'm going to have trouble getting into college. But at first, I was very disappointed because I thought that I was one of the only kids with it, and I didn't realize how many people actually have it. As I've gotten older, I realized that it's not that big of a deal, and it's not going to control me. ADD mainly affects me when it comes to schoolwork. I'll start doing it, and then I'll find something else distracting me, like on the computer or on TV or something, and then I don't get that work done, and then I don't get the good grade that I need. In more advanced math, it's... Taylor's ADD has kind of helped him out a little bit. The fact that he's a little scatter-minded, it, it helps in advanced math because there's not always one process you have to go through. It's not regimented like lower level math where being off the wall a little bit helps him solve problems. Taylor likes to take over a classroom. How do we solve 5x plus 2 equals 0? Track 2, get that on the other side. Taylor, other people want to answer, okay? It's a struggle for his classmates sometimes. They get a little frustrated. They want to show that they understand the material as well. It takes some getting used to, someone blurting out answers. But you get used to it, the students get used to it, and it kind of makes for a more open classroom. ADD has defined me, has made me who I am, because I know how I cannot act and what it will do if I let it take control of me. I play left wing, and I like that because it's the easiest and most comfortable place for me to play and to score goals. I like the creativity you can have because there's so many things you can do and I like the fast pace and action, the hitting and the feeling of scoring. It's a physical game and it's a fast game. So you gotta be able to not only give a hit, but you gotta be able to take a hit. He's a big, strong athlete. He has a tremendous shot. He has things that all hockey coaches like. Taylor, we know when his focus is on point and we know when it's off and we have to address it. Sometimes it's as simple as putting your arm around him on his shoulder because that touching keeps the focus on you, the coach. And then we just talk to him about what we want to see from him. He is a hard worker. Even if he's not getting something right away in class or in sports, he'll be persistent. He'll keep trying until he figures it out. AD has made me the way I am today. I have not used it as an excuse as to how I act. I take full responsibility for everything I've done. Since I found out that I had ADD, it's just gotten better because I've learned to work with it and I've tried to mature more. My advice to anybody dealing with any problems, whether it be ADD or any, anything else that's going on in their life, just don't give up because it does get better and all the hard work that you're putting in right now will pay off in the end. When I face challenges, what I usually do is I'll talk to someone first and then I say a prayer and uh, I hope that God will help me because I know he's there listening to me. Subscribe to our channel, The Real Winning Edge, now on YouTube. You can see more inspirational videos like this.